Hello, Great Oak Wolfpack. This is Rich Sipneski, counselor at Great Oak High School, representing one of the counselors across many grade levels who are going to be supporting you for the 2021-22 school year. We're all looking forward to seeing everybody very soon in the near future and for the fall term. My goal today is to go over the process for course selection, which in its entirety will be online as compared to last year where you just had a video and you turn in your sheets. The whole process will be online starting in step number one through your homeroom the week of February 1st. This presentation in its entirety is found on our counseling website if you click that link right there. And there's also grade level Google Classroom supports. Step two, and probably most important, is that you guys do research. You talk to your teachers, your counselors, your parents. Attend Spring Showcase, February 25th, where many departments, AP, IB, Career Technical Education, Visual Performing Arts will roll out their programs so you can make the most informed decision when you pick your courses for the upcoming year. Since we're going to be doing all this from a distance and online, it's really important that you take advantage of Spring Showcase and attend that through our virtual opportunities. Step three, I'm going to click into this form here because there's a counselor intervention sign up. When you're not having to attend a grade level intervention in one of your other respective classes, counselors are going to be available by grade level to help you with the course selection process. And we're going to encourage you guys to sign up to see us. So make sure you fill out this form in step three. And then more importantly, Step number four, you're going to be entering six courses in IC in your academic planner to total 12 classes for fall and spring sections. And I'm going to walk you through that on how that's going to look. Your parents will be approving those also in your academic planner in IC. Step five, and just as important, we're going to ask you guys to list alternatives. There's an alternatives Google Classroom form for classes that you would like to choose if for some reason you don't get your six selected courses. And the way you simply do this is you go forward in this form and here's a view, a visual view of what the form looks like and all your different choices between CTE pathways, visual performing arts. Normally you would just write the course in here, but now since we're online, you're gonna be selecting your alternative choice here and then moving forward. So alternative choice number one here, and then so on. Alternative choice. So we have an idea of what your alternative classes are gonna be. So follow this form, and again, just to be clear, your alternatives have to be done on here. The following section will determine one of your four alternative elected choices. And then step six, counselors are gonna be reviewing your course requests in Infinite Campus. And parents will actually be able to sign off an Infinite Campus through their approval box below step seven. And that's visible in your IC planner where you're actually going to populate your classes. So really important that you get your alternatives in there. You get your six classes in IC. And again, the alternatives, you go through that link right there. This is more of a guide to every course at Great Oak High School by respective grade level. So freshman year, sophomore year, junior year, senior year, every course that we have on campus, front and back. And again, typically you would normally turn this sheet in, but now it's gonna be used as a guide to assist you. Speaking of the academic planner in IC, you're gonna log into Infinite Campus in that green box. It's located at our website and our, also our counseling website. Put your username, password in. And then when you get into this thing, you'll go into Academic Planner, select your classes with respective grade level, sophomore year, junior year, senior year, and then make sure you save. After you get your six classes in there to total 12, fall, spring, you're gonna make sure you save. And kind of a snapshot view of that looks like that from the outside looking in. Just make sure you save and you've chosen six classes in your academic planner. Your alternatives, again, will be going in that alternative Google Doc form. Mm -hmm. Speaking of classes, these are our graduation requirements. Pretty straightforward. Pay attention to science requirements and fine art. There's kind of a breakdown there if you haven't met those requirements yet. And we still have a 40-hour community service requirement. A through G requirements. <clears throat> 
if you plan on attending one of the Cal States or UCs, it's highly important that you do years recommended of language, life science, math. These are recommended to get into some of the most competitive schools. Many of our students do these courses just meeting our GOHS requirements, but it's particularly important to make sure you're meeting your A through G's, and if you're not sure, following up with your prospective counselor through that intervention block with the form that you can sign up to see your counselor. <clears throat> Advancement placement program. We have many AP classes and IB classes on campus. We're highly encouraging you to do your research, maybe discover your AP potential through College Board to see if you're appropriate to take an AP class. Apart from talking to your teachers, we really want you to use the resources that were provided in this website here. This goes right to College Board and it lays out everything that's in every AP class that you could possibly take. So you can see a description of every single course that is available to take. Don't forget your teachers when researching AP options. Yes, they are weighted as AP level courses and you could get college credit, but you also want to make sure you're appropriate to take the course with appropriate research. Mrs. King will be discussing the IB program, the full diploma program and course program on February 25th through Spring Showcase. It's highly recommended that not only you attend her break off, but other break offs in career tech ed pathways across our campus to make sure you're making the most informed decision on whether or not you should take an AP, one IB course or a variety of courses to be full diploma. So lots of good information here. Don't miss Spring Showcase for many programs on our campus. Advancement via individual determination. The goal of AVID is to get you into a four-year school. If you think this program may be for you, it could be. It offers lots of resources to help you be most successful. I'd highly recommend you click on that application link and reach out to the coordinator and get your app in so you could be considered for the program. Great program with lots of resources to help you with college. These are the different options for English across the spectrum. Again, we encourage you to talk to your teachers, look at AP Potential, go to the AP website, talk to your friends, see how AP Lit was or AP Lang or even HL English if you're gonna be a soon to be junior and you can take that over two years. So many options on our campus to help prepare you for college and the career technical pathway and beyond. Social science, apart from regular social science classes, there are a lot of social science electives just like there are English electives and we have those in art history, whether it's IB art history or AP art history. We also have those in psychology and world religion. So again, we're encouraging you to be mindful of the classes that you pick and in the different areas that you're exploring. And, and, and again, guys, talk to your counselors, ask questions, get as much information as you can as you're making an informed decision about your classes and, and, and look at some of the different resources that are embedded on the bottom of each of these slides to help you make a decision. There's links to each respective department that, that can help you, whether it's English department, AVID, or even the math department. Speaking of math, your math teacher is going to be recommending your next level course based on your success in this year. So do really well and improve. Some of you may end up taking two math classes and that could be a good thing too. We have a lot of students who take two, but again, we're gonna to defer to your math teacher for that recommendation, certain parents, Recommendations can be considered too by year end as you finish up your year. Science, as I said before, many colleges recommend more than two years of science. Our two year requirement is to graduate from grade oak, but many STEM schools, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, recommend well beyond two years. So this is something also to be mindful of. And if you're not sure, again, we want you to do your research, talk to your teachers, connect with your counselors through intervention, so you're, you're putting together the, the most competitive schedule to set yourself up for not only for your schools when you're done at Great Oak, but technical schools and schools that are based in science and math. PE, we have a two-year PE requirement. There's also a physical fitness test that you would need to pass still to wave out of this by your junior year. Everybody's required to do two years of PE, and we have a lot of different options from yoga to aerobics to even weights and strength training. 
world language. I encourage you to keep learning languages. A lot of schools recommend more than two to three years of that, that discipline. We have lots of options in language and visual performing arts. The Cal States and the UCs require this thing called the VAPA, as I spoke to earlier. If you're not sure if you've met this requirement yet, please consult with your counselor, friends, parents alike. Great Oak High School has many career technical education classes that prepare you for not only a four-year school, but technical schools. And those range from engineering and architecture to health science and medical technologies to information computer technologies and arts and media. This link embedded at the bottom gives a little more breadth and depth into each of these courses. And we have everything, again, from engineering to the second tier of engineering to the capstone, which is like a third tier class where you get a certificate. All of these have a beginning and an end that culminate in a certificate and depth experience and training that prepare you for many careers and, and major pathways beyond. So I encourage you to look at some of these. These are often the hidden classes that students forget about, but they could really prepare you for, for what's next. Other electives that could make your application stand out for college could be yearbook, peer leaders. These are all leadership-based programs with application links embedded within this slide. And then other electives, we mentioned AVID, computer science, leadership, the ROTC program, that's actually a leadership character development program. All of these programs are amazing at Great Oak High School. We're highly encouraging you to look at all of them. That being said, guys, it's, it's been a pleasure working with you. We can't wait to see you soon. This is our Google Classroom with all our Bitmojis of our whole team here to support you. We're, again, really looking forward to you in the upcoming years. Just to kind of recap, we want you to complete this process starting the week of February 1st through Infinite Campus. And if I just kind of go back to those steps to summarize everything, going back here, we're going to be laying out the course selection process the week of February 1st. You're researching your courses, attend Spring Showcase, get in your academic planners to assure that you get all your courses entered. That's step four. There's a link there to talk to your counselors. And don't forget to get that alternative Google form done and have your parents sign off on their permission in this, this document. When in doubt, ask questions and reach out to us as you need support. We're all here to help you. Thank you guys so much and make it a great Oak Day.